Hello, my name is Dr. Jason Lee, clinical immunologist and allergist practicing in Toronto, Ontario. Thank you for joining us and uh, evidence-based medical educator here today. Today we're going to be talking about allergies and this is really to understand what ocular allergies are about. So what are allergies? Well, this is a question that's asked almost every day in my practice. Most people have a misunderstanding or incomplete understanding of allergies. People often confuse any irritative eye symptom with an ocular allergy. We first have to define what an allergy is in order to learn about ocular allergies. An allergy is a type of hypersensitivity reaction. Now, a hypersensitivity reaction is when your body reacts to something that is benign or not necessarily harmful to you in a not so helpful way. So we call this a pathologic process. Now these antigens can either be from within you or from the external environment. Our immune system needs some way to distinguish what's foreign and what's us. Remember, this is there to protect you. There are four types of hypersensitivity reactions, and an allergy is technically the first type of a gel and Coombs hypersensitivity reaction. Your immune system is naive, meaning hasn't seen most of the antigens that are foreign to you. Your body's immune system has to be able to tell what's bad and what's good and what's ugly maybe to your body. We evolved in an environment where all sorts of little critters and parasites try to harm us so it was really important that we have this immune system so that we could fight off all these little invaders. When you first encounter something foreign typically there's not a hypersensitivity reaction. This is because your immune system hasn't had time to figure out exactly what is going on. This process is actually called antigen presentation. Once your immune system has had time to analyze and figure out whether something is good, bad, or ugly, it learns to create and be prepared for the next time it sees this antigen. A type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is when the immune system mistakenly sees something that's benign or good as something potentially harmful. When your body sees this the next time, it deals with it aggressively to kind of fight an infection that it thinks it sees. Many examples of this exist, and under this umbrella are antigens that cause allergies, termed allergens. A few examples to note are things like dust mites, cats, dogs, trees, you name it, can cause your immune system to react in a sort of not so helpful way. Now I'd like to tell you about the innate and adaptive immune system. This is an important concept to understand. Your innate immune system is like your first line of defense. The adaptive immune system is your second line or more fine-tuned defenders of the immune system. The different branches of the immune system, which we conceptually think of as being separate, actually work together in concert all the time. It's up to your innate immune system, for example, to call in the, quote, specialist, end quote, of the adaptive immune system. This is in a nutshell what a hypersensitivity reaction is. Now, learning about the different types of hypersensitivity reaction is beyond the scope of this website, but suffice it to say, an allergy is by definition a type 1 gel and Coombs reaction. Gel and Coombs, for those who may be interested, are the immunologists that first came up with the categorization of these reactions. In the next lecture, I'm going to talk to you about the different players of the immune system so that we can better understand ocular allergies. Thank you.